At a farm in Ogun State, southwestern Nigeria, suspended yams grow in a controlled greenhouse without using soil. The technology, known as aeroponics, helps deliver a nutrient-packed mist that is sprayed into plant roots instead of having the plant roots standing in soil or water as with hydroponics. Samson Ogbole grows yams, tomatoes and various vegetables on his farm. Ogbole says he wants to see aeroponics promoted, especially in urban areas. We needed a way that was attractive to the youth, that would bring in young ones into agriculture, and also a method that is climate smart, while also pushing for what we call urban agriculture. Because you realize that there is a mass exodus of people from villages to the urban center. So we need to be able to also ensure that food production can also occur in urban center. The start-up cost is usually more than what is used for soy-based farming. However, considering the fact that soilless farming allows you to do just one-time capital investment, the running cost is way cheaper than running soy-based farming. Take, for instance, in soilless farming, you don't have to worry about weeding, you don't have to worry about use of herbicide, um, fungicide, and all of that, no insecticide usage. Much more than that, you have fewer people working on your farm compared to soy-based farming. If we are able to cure the food production line properly, you will realize that most of the diseases that people suffer from can actually be eliminated permanently. Still ahead on Plus TV African News, it's our roundup on entertainment and sports. We're back in a moment. <laughs>